Now we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to change the color of a t-shirt. I'm going to use this example right here and I keep it on the left so that we can compare it. Let me copy it. I'll drag it to the right hand side holding control. Then I copy it again. So the one on the right hand side, let me rename it. I want this one to be for the model. The top one should be for the shirt. This one on the left is the original, let me call it comparison. And oh, we don't need the white background, I'll delete it. Now I go to my shirt layer and I use the paths tool and I go over this outline of the shirt. You can skip ahead if you know how to create outlines. If you're new, just left click. You don't have to worry about curves. So the first step is just to create this rough outline with sharp edges. I move around in the image with the spacebar and then left click drag and I zoom in and out holding control and then I use my mouse wheel. If you've arrived at the starting point, you can hold control and you see your cursor changing. And then you can click on the start point and it's going to close the shape. In the next step, hover over your lines, left click and drag and it's going to create the curves. And you can adjust the angle. By using these handles, they're going to pop up once you have adjusted one of these lines and turned them into a curve. At this zoom level, you don't have to be perfect. You can see we will not cover every single pixel and that's fine because when we zoom out, we are not going to notice anyway. But when it comes to creating these outlines, the more time you put in, the better results will look in general. That's always the case.
So now we have our outline. The next step is to right click, use select and from path. I'm just going to select this outline of the shirt. I right click on the shirt layer, use selection and click on add. So now we have our shirt on an isolated layer. Let me go to select and none. And now I want to go to colors and use colorize, but be careful. You have to be on the layer. So right now I'm on the layer mask and therefore colorize is blurred out. So click on this little layer icon and now it works. Colors, colorize, previous checked and you can see the effect already applied. You can click on a color swatch and pick a color or you can use the sliders up here for hue, then saturation and lightness. Be careful with hue. If you go too far up and down, it's going to look unnatural. So you want to keep it very close to the center. And there's also an eyedropper tool that you can use. It's right here for the color swatch. And there's the second one that you could also use, which is right here in the colorize menu right next to the color swatch. I'm fine with this, so I confirm. And this is how you can create this simple effect. One more tip. You can see that up here, there might be some little spots that you've missed in your outline. So if that happens, switch back to your layer mask, then use the paintbrush. Adjust the size up here. In my case, I want to go down to a single digit value or this little spot, so like five should be fine. Make the hardness like 50, 40%, that should be all right. And set your color to white as the foreground, and then you can paint over it, and it will add this newly colorized t-shirt color, and then you're good. And this I can change the t-shirt color in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.